POV you took the risk and got the Dylan Latham perm POV you got the Dylan Latham you took perm. the risk and got the POV Dylan Latham you took perm. the risk POV and got the Dylan Latham perm this sounds really weird to say, but it's becoming a trend on TikTok to get the Dylan Latham perm. First, let me show you my before and after. It's kind of crazy. Honestly, I highly recommend getting a perm to anybody who has straight hair, even wavy hair. It gives you a ton of texture, volume, and there's so many benefits to it. Let's get into the video. Here's the five things that you need to know before you get a perm. The first thing is that thicker hair is going to react more than thinner hair. So if you have thicker hair, it's going to come out more curly typically than thin hair when you get a perm. Once it starts thick, it's actually going to feel thinner to the point where it your hair is actually going to get lighter once you get the perm and because your hair is getting thinner you have to treat it properly and with care but don't let that alarm you thin hair still is going to work when you get a perm just make sure it's not too thin because that way it could actually rip your hair out and i actually experienced that when i first got a perm because i did some things wrong that i'll mention later in this video but know that it's okay because you're only doing this every three to four months so you're not gonna have to worry about it making you go bald or whatever the second thing you need to know is the type of perm rods you should get so what i get is peach curlers on the top purple curlers on the sides I used to get purple curlers all around, but this made it too curly in my opinion. A mix of the two is going to give you a wavier top and a curlier side, which in my opinion makes the best silhouette. It keeps you that volume on the side to make your face look slimmer, but on the top it gives you that perfect wave where you can decide between the curly hair look or the wavy hair look. That's my favorite thing about getting a perm is you can really decide how your hair looks whenever you want and you really get to choose any style depending on how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Just keep in mind whatever curlers you get, you should treat your hair like the hair type that you're getting. So peach curlers makes your hair pretty wavy, so you treat it like wavy hair, meaning you want more moisture than if you had straight hair to begin with. And then same thing with curly hair. The more curl that your hair has, the more moisture it's going to need to look and feel healthy. For number three, the third thing that you need to know is what products to get. My Amazon store under the hair care section is going to contain all of the products I use and all the stuff that you might need to use when you get a perm, except for one thing. This is my curl spray, which we are releasing under the Clean Cut Cosmetics website. This is my own brand. It's under making right now, but by the time this video is out, you'll probably be able to order it. I've been using this, and what this does is add the moisture. Like I said, you need to have more moisture when you have curly hair opposed to straight hair because it doesn't get oily, and that's actually not a good thing. Although straight hair seems to be more greasy, the curlier your hair is, the less greasy it appears, and the more moisture you're going to have to add. And that's why I recommend getting the curl spray. Now, on the other hand, this is my salt spray. As the perm continues to grow out and get longer, it actually gets wavier and wavier until eventually it's straight again. As your hair gets wavier, that's when I recommend using the salt spray because this is going to be a perfect styling product for that wavy look. So just keep in mind that when you get a perm, it goes from curly to wavy until you get your next perm. So at the end of the perm cycle, around month two or three, you're going to notice that your hair is actually more wavy than it is curly. Keep in mind that using a product like salt spray is going to be better for that as opposed to the beginning. And using curl spray might actually be better for your hair. So the fourth thing, and everybody asks this, is how long does your hair need to be? Your hair should be around four to six inches, meaning four inches on the side and six inches on the top. If your hair is shorter than four inches, the chances are it's not even gonna be able to be used with the perm rods. You're gonna have to wait for it to grow longer to get that perm. Just make sure that you don't get your hair cut too short in between perm cycles because you might go through an awkward phase where you can't get the perm because it's not too long. So you're gonna have to wait in that awkward phase where part of your hair is curly and part of it's wavy. You don't want that. Make sure your hair is long enough before you go to the salon. Final thing, and these are the disclaimers, make sure you watch this part of the video if you watch any part. The first thing, don't wash your hair 48 hours after getting the perm. This is going to wash out the solution that made your hair curly or wavy in the first place and completely ruin the whole point of getting it. Do not brush your hair directly after getting the perm. The reason you don't want to brush it is because it's in a very fragile state and it needs to recover. If you brush your hair, it can rip it out and I actually did that. And if you look, the front of my hairline has ripped out hairs right here because I did that last time I got the perm. And I'm just trying to warn you guys so that I can help you out. Now the last and probably the most important rule or disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, is please just don't do it at home. Go to a salon. When you get a perm at home, it never, ever turns out right. Now, occasionally it will turn out right if you follow the instructions to a T. Maybe after watching this video, you could do it, but just don't do it at home. I don't recommend it. If you must, it's going to be a little bit cheaper, but it never ends well. You're going to end up with your hair being ripped out. It's not going to come out right. Go to a salon. And that being said, do not go to a barber. Go to an actual salon. Usually there's going to be a lot of girls working there. They work with perms much more than guys for the most part. Go to the salon and tell them that Dylan Latham sent you.